안녕하십니까? Nicolas Imida and today we are going to play a game. I am going to show you a tiny piece of JavaScript code and you are going to try to guess what the result of that code is. I am 98% sure that most of us won't get the answers correctly. So we are also going to take some time to understand what the correct answer is and why. By the end of the game, we might all have a headache but we are all going to have a deeper understanding of how JavaScript works and how weird it is. And maybe some of the shocking things we are about to see will help you in a coding interview. Who knows? Please keep track of all the correct answers and when the game is over, let me know your score on the comments. Let's get started with an easy one. What do you think the output of this code is? Correct. This code returns the word fail. I'm joking. I mean, this code actually does return the word fail. But this is not our first question. I just wanted to scare you a little bit. Our first question is this one. What is the result of this code? A, false, B, four, C, not a number, D, empty string. And the answer is B. And that is because JavaScript does not want to show you an error. To accomplish this, JavaScript uses a process called type coercion. This means that it will automatically convert a value from one type to another if it's required by an operation. In this case, because the minus operator can only work with numbers, the operator triggers a numeric conversion that turns the string into a number. And that's why the answer is four. Now that we know this, what is the result of this code? A false. B, 6, C, string, 51, D, not a number. Based on the previous answer, you may think that the answer is B, but it is not. The correct answer is C. And that is because the plus operator on JavaScript doesn't always trigger a numeric conversion. When the plus operator is used with a number and a string, it actually converts the number to a string and then concatenates the strings. With this knowledge, it should be easy to know the answer to our next question. What is the result of an empty array plus an empty object? A, zero. B, empty array, empty object as a string. C, object, object. D, not a number. And the answer is C. Here, once again, the plus operator triggers the conversion of both array and object to their string representations. An empty array converts to an empty string and an empty object converts to object object. So we know that empty array plus empty object equals object object. Now let me ask you what happens if we flip the order? What happens if we do empty object plus empty array? A object object, B zero, C empty object, D not a number. If you answered A object object, you are wrong. The correct answer is B zero. Empty object plus empty array equals zero. I'm sorry, I don't make the rules. This guy does. So why is empty array plus empty object equals object object, but empty object plus empty array equals zero? The reason why is because in this case, the empty object is not seen as an empty object. It is instead seen as an empty block of code, like this. So in reality, the expression is evaluated as plus empty array. The plus sign converts the empty array into a number. And when an empty array is turned into a number, it becomes a zero. Let's practice a bit. What is the result of true plus true plus true? A, true. B, true, true, true. C, three. D, not a number. The answer is C. True plus true plus true is equals to three. This happens because when you use the plus operator with booleans, JavaScript converts them into numbers. True is turned into binary two, which is one, which means we end up doing one plus one plus one. On the same line, true minus true will return zero since it's the same as doing one minus one. Now let's get into something more technical. What is the return value of this function? A one, B two, 3c. The correct answer is c. That function returns 3. The reason why is because of how try, catch, and finally work. Inside the function, try block tries to return 1, but the finally block always executes regardless of whether an exception is thrown or not. And it also has the power to override the return from try block. This question, unlike the other ones, isn't about some weird JavaScript quirk. It makes sense and it's good to know. Talking about decimals, what is the result of this operation? A, 1.0001, B, 1. 
The answer is B. That is because JavaScript is unable to accurately process numbers with more than 16 digits, leading it to round off these values to one. Now tell me, what will this code return? A, true, or B, false? The answer is B, false. This one is not a JavaScript bug. It actually happens in other programming languages. Computers think in binary, ones and zeros. This can cause some issues because some decimal fractions, like 0.1 or 0.2, can't be exactly converted into binary. So when you tell JavaScript to use 0.1 or 0.2, it does its best to represent these numbers in binary, but they end up being a tiny bit more than 0.1 or 0.2. So when you add a 0.1 and 0.2, this tiny extra bit also add up, making the total slightly different than 0.3. And that's why 0.1 plus 0.2 equals 0.3 is false, because the sum isn't exactly 0.3 due to this tiny extra bit. Let's do one that I'm sure many of you at home will get. What will this code return? A, true, B, false. The answer here is A, true. As we have seen before, JavaScript treats the true as one when it comes to mathematical operations and comparison. So when you are comparing true to one, JavaScript says they are the same because it sees true as one. Based on that, what will this code return? A true, B false. The answer here is B false. As we know, when we use two equals, JavaScript tries to help by converting different types of data to match each other. When we use three equals, JavaScript does not make this conversion. It checks if things on both sides are exactly the same, including their types. So true equals 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 one is false because even though true can be converted to one, true is not exactly the same as one because they are different types of data. One is a Boolean value and the other is a number. This is why you should always use three equals rather than two to stop JavaScript trying to help and do unexpected type conversions. And to finish up, and this one is for fun because I don't think you will ever use this. What is the output of this code? A, ba, B, banana, C, not a number, D, 11. The answer is B. This code returns banana. In JavaScript, the plus sign next to a string tries to convert that string into a number. In our banana case, the second A is next to a plus sign. And because we can't turn the letter A into a number, we get not a number instead. So B plus A plus plus A plus A becomes B plus A plus not a number plus A. And because the plus sign used with strings just concatenates them, we get banana in the end. As you can see, JavaScript is very flexible, which means we don't get errors when we try to do silly things like trying to add an array to an empty object. Because of this, we have to be aware of the language performing type conversions silently on the background, which may lead to bugs that are hard to find. And that is the reason why for a long time I have not written any JavaScript code and moved to TypeScript. TypeScript is just a better JavaScript that will improve your quality of life the moment you try it. I made a free four hour TypeScript course where we learn how it works and why it's better than JavaScript by building a simple blockchain. It's for free. So please join right now, clicking the link below to learn about the reason I'm not afraid of refactoring old code, TypeScript. If you had fun today and you learned something you did not know before, please like the video, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Click the link below and I will see you there. Onudo, kamsahago, saranhago, daome boyo, see you on the next one. Bye bye. Yeah, it's